and welcome back to Marriage or Hell Nah, the channel breaking down these Reddit relationship topics, marriage topics, divorce topics, thotty cheating topics, but also we discuss real issues that affect men out here in this dating landscape. Now this morning, fellas, we're going to have a real conversation around what some men might be going through and the frustrations they're feeling behind it. What do I mean? Here's the deal. If you're looking at the image that you see there on the screen, picture this, a 26 year old male who's in shape is not able to get any buns out here in these streets. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is a topic that I frankly just do not understand. I know they got surveys, they got studies out there that say that young men are not getting any buns and it's driving them crazy. Now, most of you guys who may be millennials or generation X or even old, the baby boomers, this phenomenon is just bonkers to probably most of us, but we got a young man here who's 26 years old. And he said, enough is enough of this shit. I'm out. So that young man decided to get his passport and visit a place that we all love dearly. Shout out to them travel brothers who be making their mark on the world out here doing your thing. And if you're unfamiliar, that would be that beautiful country of Colombia, where you could see some of the most beautiful women you ever seen on this earth. Now, shout out to all my day one subscribers, everybody who's tapped into the channel. I appreciate all the love, even though we know YouTube be hating, but feel free to follow me on the other social media platforms that you guys see down there in the description box. Without further ado, let's get into today's story time. Now, the title of this post is where are some good places slash clubs to meet women in Colombia? That's not online dating. So it looks like he's had enough of that virtual bullshit. I call it BS because it actually is. Bro, I gotta touch wholesome, squeeze some. Feel me? He starts off, I'm a soon to be 26 year old male who's never had a girlfriend before and I'm still a virgin. And to be honest, I've been quite depressed for a long time and have become increasingly bitter over the years. I'm not looking here to get bashed or made fun of for being romantically inexperienced. I just want to be able to have a normal dating life for once in my life and know what it's like to experience love in SEX, AKA spicy time, just like everyone else. I'm tired of seeing everybody on Facebook, getting into new relationships and posting pictures of their significant other. And I can't seem to have that sort of life or going to family dinners and being the only cousin in my family that's single because everyone else got married at the age of 25. So let's take a pause right there, gentlemen. Like I said, this is a phenomenon that I just quite don't understand. Uh, me, myself, I don't know if I've disclosed this before on the channel or not, but I got my first experience of getting some buns probably around the age of 15. Uh, I think she was 16 at the time. So this idea of waiting till you're 26, like I said, it's just something that I quite don't understand, but, but I also am aware that the generation Z crowd and, um, that generation is waiting longer and longer. And a lot of the younger girls in that generation are already loose with older men, just to be honest. So the younger guys are having a much tougher time, but what he's experiencing right now is some of the frustrations of not getting any buns. I mean, let's just be honest, you know, if you're walking around and you're seeing people being together and experiencing some type of dating life and you're kind of wishing that was you, you're just not able to apply yourself for whatever reason, you know, you got to look underneath the surface, but I'm sorry, gents. If I was this man, I would have took care of this problem a long fucking time ago. And I'm just being honest with you. I don't believe in that. I got to be able to get my rocks off. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Now let's jump back into the story. With that said, are there any places or clubs or get togethers in town that anyone would recommend to meet women or maybe a girlfriend? We'll talk about that at the end. I have a wide array of interests. I like being active. I like to work out. I go to the gym three to four times a week 
and I even compete in several powerlifting competitions. I also enjoy playing soccer and being active in general, and I think I am fairly fit. I like playing music. I like the guitar and the piano. I am good, not great. My roots are in folk music for the guitar, and as for the piano, I don't use any sort of sheet music. I just play by ear. I'm not looking to get into online dating again. See, you see how he uses again right there? Because he's experienced this virtual BS. This is like the OnlyFans. Um, you got girls out here on sugar daddy sites talking about they only want virtual relationships and certain types of guys are having to settle for that. If you wasting your time or your money on any of that type of stuff, it's just not the end or be all because at the end of the day, you got to be able to get your rocks off. Now he goes on a little bit here and I'm trying not to laugh here and poke fun at him because I know a lot of guys go through that. I did that in my early 20s and hardly got any matches and never got a single date out of it except one time. The girl saw me and the first thing she said to me was, you're shorter than I expected and left after 20 minutes. Of course, it completely crushed me. I think I suffer from rejection, sensitivity, any sort of rejection from women, I take it personally. And I basically see myself as worthless and unlovable in the eyes of women. I don't see myself as attractive. I think I'm an ugly monster. Here you got a guy who's just never really experienced being around women and not being able to handle the rejection of it all. And sometimes when you've gone through that enough, you can build up some type of animosity towards them. But it's important to get that shit out your system. And the reason why is because you're not built to be able to have these frustrations. Now, fellas, we already know some of the younger guys out here are experiencing frustrations of this sort because they don't have confidence. They lack game. Maybe they don't have the genetics that some of these freakish guys with these genes have. And, you know, maybe they want some of that attention from the ladies. But the other thing, too, is that you notice that the man doesn't have any game that can be through wordplay, that could be through body game, that could be through status, money, things like that. But we know younger guys really don't have the money just yet. So what's the man's solution? He could sit at home and learn to work on game and take himself some courses or get a coach and that'll be able to help him in about a year. The man's already physically fit. Maybe he's shorter than what chicks want. And we know some chicks are bougie like that. But he damn sure picked a good place to travel to. I'm going to read the comments and then I'm going to come back to be able to talk about that. Now, the first man steps up to help the brother out and he goes, this isn't the answer you want. But going to a bar or a club will be very ineffective because you obviously have very minimal self-confidence, which is probably the most attractive quality many women find in a man. It seems your lack of confidence originates from the way you equate self-worth with sexual slash romantic experience, which is a pretty toxic way to evaluate yourself or others. Unfortunately, this is what society has conditioned us to do. I was in a similar place a few years ago in my early 20s, so I know that it's tough and can be depressing. But keep exercising and focusing on your talents. Ding, 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 ding. That's a very important point. Your talents, your hobbies, your passions, the things that you get excited for in life are your focus. Those are the things that are going to bring you the most happiness. And women can be along in that process because you got to get your rocks off, like I keep saying in this video. But they're there to help you along that journey of finding out what your true talents are. Those are steps in the right direction. I know it sounds cliche and overly simple. But when you meet girls, just be yourself. It'll be all right. 20 upvotes on that. And that's real, especially that last part. Trying to manipulate women and trying to be some extra Rico Suave guy that you're not is not going to help you in the long run. And being honest, most chicks can kind of see through that. So at the end of the day, you're better off just being yourself. When you think about this country and the beautiful women that it has to offer, you have to understand that the women belong to the local guys, right? So the local guys know the lay of the land. They know who's been out here thottying it up. 
So you as a tourist need to be able to understand what it is that you're really looking for. When you look up here, when you look up here and you get into that Baron Kia and uh, Cartagena, you can find you some nice looking things, boy, that look something like that. Because you know, them girls out in the sun, they by the beach, they out there on the coast. So they look real good. But let's say you make your way down to that city of Medellin. You're going to see some things that look good in them colder regions. They're going to be beautiful too. And they got many a different shades. But the real talking point that the man is really trying to discuss is where the hell can he go to get his rocks off? So if you happen to find yourself going to that country, you got to decide where you want to go. For instance, if you're going to Medellin or Medellin, as a solo dolo type of male, I think you should stick to the casas. You got no game. You're not going to be able to roll up in La Isla and think you're going to compete with them type of guys who have that type of status and that type of money. You're going to see some of the baddest women you've ever seen in your life, but you're not going to be able to pull them. And even if the chick was able to talk to you, bro, it ain't going to work out well. You just need to go somewhere in a smaller setting. Get with the woman that's going to be able to coach you along in the process just to be able to make sure you're comfortable. So that's the reason why you might want to stick to them costs. Now let's talk about the other thing. He mentioned that he might be looking for a girlfriend. And like I said, bro, they got some beautiful women there to be able to choose from. But you got to be able to understand a few things. Now one, you better be able to speak the language. Reason being is as beautiful as these women are, they're not stupid. So if you're not able to speak the language, you don't understand their culture, they know what you're trying to do. So if you're looking for a girlfriend before your trip, why don't you spend some time familiarizing yourself on the dating apps, like, you know, maybe a month before you get ready to land. So that way you have an idea of some women that you're possibly able to meet up with and even be able to go out with and have a drink just to be able to socialize. The second thing, is even if you get rejected down there, don't take it personal, bro. Some of them women down there, they look very good. But at the end of the day, a lot of men want their attention. And that's something that you got to be able to come to terms with. That's all I'll say about that. But there's one thing I need to tell you guys about. Instead of going to this country like so many of the other brothers have been, why don't you try another neighboring country? And you know, it's no way in hell I'm going to tell you. I ain't got no problem with what this man is trying to say. I know that some people are uncomfortable with what he's alluding to. But at the end of the day, I ain't about to be no 26-year-old fucking virgin out here. Fuck that. You see this animosity that this guy got? He's talking about he's fit. He's doing all of these different things as far as his hobbies. And he's still not able to get game. He should have invested in game or some type of socialization of how to be able to speak to women a long time ago, but it didn't happen for him for whatever reason. And he got to be able to get his rocks off. And if he want to go to Columbia to go do his thing, I say have at it. Until next time, gents, you better make sure you got your own damn passport. You heard what the brothers out there talking about on TikTok. He said, fuck that. I ain't even dating these women in the US no more. Now I'm not prepared to go that far. But I definitely enjoy being able to travel the world and see beautiful women. And when I think about Colombia, I think about some of the most beautiful women in this world. But keep in mind, I say that about every goddamn country I go to. Until next time, fellas, I'm out. Choose wisely. And in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with choosing that you're not going to be a virgin in 2022. I'm out. Peace.